If you only have a day in Chingitha and you're wondering how to spend it, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Wania and I went into rolling through Europe. Currently, I'm sharing my travel experiences in Italy. If you're looking to slow travel and not necessarily visit every single village and you're thinking, hmm, how do I prioritize which one to go to? I've only got a limited amount of time. Uh, what should I do? Then I have the perfect plan for you. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you will know that I was a bit sick and low on energy the days before I went to Cinque Terre and I decided to cut down on some of my plans and only visit three of the five villages. These three villages are Vernazza, Rio Maggiore and Manarola. This was part of a bigger trip interrailing through Europe and as part of my journey through Italy, I decided to visit Cinque Terre. The days before I did get ill in Milan and I was recovering when I got to Cinque Terre so I wasn't able to fully maximize the two and a half days I did have there. I had one full day for the five villages and I thought it was a bit ambitious and I didn't want to get up at the crack of dawn and I didn't want to hike between all of them. I could have taken the train between all of them but honestly I wanted to just spend a significant amount of time in each one and not feel rushed and this was the perfect plan for me. So please keep watching to see where I went first and where I ended the day. When deciding on my route for the day I knew I wanted to catch the sunset in Manarola so route wise it made sense for me to go to Renata first. Vernazza has Cinque Terre's only natural harbour as well as a waterfront area which offers a small stretch of sand perfect for cooling off in the water, nearby seafood restaurants and also great spots for people watching. On the blue trail hike towards Monterosso you'll even be treated to a beautiful view of Vernazza. Saturday the 17th of September, day 9 of my interrailing trip and I'm currently in Vernazza. I've hiked up to this spot for a beautiful view of the village, look how amazing it looks and honestly I can't even right now because like as I was sick I can still feel it in my chest and climbing so much I, I'm already quite unfit not gonna lie. Um, and then climbing up, oh, climbing up these um, steep, <coughs> so climbing up these steep hiking trails is actually taking a bit of a toll on me, like I'm um, out of breath much quicker and it's just really tough right now and also day two period so you know how, tough, how uncomfortable that is right now. Anyways, I met the nicest girls, two um, Turkish German girls um, down in the village when I was actually sat down there somewhere and um, I asked one of them to take a picture of me and then we just got chatting I asked them where they're from and like it's so Germany um, Turkey but actually from Germany and I was like oh same like I just just started speaking in German and it was so, it was so nice and um, yeah so we've got plans to meet for sunset and they were really lovely honestly two of the nicest people I've met on this trip so far and yeah now I'm gonna go back because I had they were gonna go up even further to get an even better view of the village but I just couldn't do it. I'm so out of it right now. Like um yeah because I have to still go to one other town and um yeah that's where I'm going now so let's go.
Next up is the breathtaking Rio Maggiore, which is known for its colorful stone houses that seem to be stacked on top of one another, and its harbor filled with traditional fishing boats. I sat near the water and had my lunch in this stunning spot. Definitely a must see when you visit Cinque Terre. Last but not least is my favourite, Manarola. When the sun is going down in Manarola, there's only one place to be at its famous hilltop viewpoint. Perhaps the best vista of the Cinque Terre and one which encapsulates the region in a single image, it is not to be missed. To reach the viewpoint, simply follow the narrow faced stone walkway from the harbour around the rocks for a few minutes and then go up the stairs on your right to arrive at the best spot. All in all, Cinque Terre is worth a visit even if you only have one day's time. There's a reason why it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and you will not regret visiting these beautiful villages on this dreamy coastline. Some things to keep in mind if you're spending the day in Cinque Terre. You can buy a day pass which will allow you to take any of the trains between the villages and it only costs around 18 euros. If you do have an interrail pass, the trains are included. So that's really ideal if you are interrailing. And anything else to keep in mind? If you are spending the night nearby, then I would suggest checking out Levanto. This is where I stayed and it's just five minutes away from the first village. Um, the first village of Cinque Terre. I did not visit this specific village but it's only five minutes away by train Monterosso and ideal to get to any of the other villages. Between each village it doesn't take that long only a few minutes max 10 minutes by train and it's very easy to get around. Some people also consider hiking between the villages so if you have more time or energy and you're up for it definitely check that out. There are some really incredible routes with amazing views along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's somewhat helpful for you when you're planning your trip. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I hope to connect with as many of you as possible. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next one.